Why are you paying? Not me, the company's paying. You're an employee now, you know. Okay then. But then I'll buy you a present. But not an expensive one like this one. All right. But don't do it because you feel like you have to, you got it? Of course not. I'll buy something small and give it to you tonight. Thanks so much. Come on girls, let's do this. Isla, ma'am, I made a cake. Would you like to taste it? I don't, but I should. Maybe this will help, creating some happiness hormone inside me. You look really sad, Miss Isla. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm really sad. Because of what Mr. Kamal told you, right? What do you mean by that exactly? He was going to tell you that he was married, but he's been trying to get divorced. I thought that he told you this already, but you didn't accept it because you left the hotel so quickly. Wait, wait, wait one second. When did you talk about this with Kamal? It was last night. He came here to see you because he couldn't reach you on your phone. I thought maybe you were just angry with him. Welcome, Mr. Kamal. Oh, good evening, Shank. The restaurant's closed already, but I'm sure we can put something together. That is, if you came here just for dinner. Thanks. Thanks, Shank. That's kind. Actually, I didn't come here to eat anything. I came here to... Isla, is she here? I haven't been able to reach her. Miss Isla's been gone a while. I don't think she'll come back after such a late hour. There's something extremely important I need to tell her. I don't know if I even have the strength to tell her. Then this is something serious. It is, it's really serious. Isla should know this immediately. I can't keep this as a, as a secret from her anymore. <sighs> he didn't want to tell me what happened at first, but it was obvious he desperately needed to talk. I married Jake. But it's not an ordinary marriage, that's for sure. We've been living separate lives. She's been living in England. So why didn't you get divorced? I tried. I've been trying still, you know. But I haven't been able to reach her. So things have been taking so long. There are also bureaucratic procedures because she's been living abroad. As you can see, it's not something I've really handled that well. It's unfortunate. Sure is. I'd forgotten I was even married ever since I met dear Isla. But I'm 
married according to law. Now I'll tell Isla and hope that she'll understand this in a rational way. Tell me that he was gonna tell me everything himself, and I didn't give him the chance to. Pila, Mr. Kamal told me that he loved you very much. It's really very difficult for a man to tell another man that he loves a woman. I think Mr. Kamal really does love you. Weren't you both with Zena? Where is she? When you called and said that it was so urgent, she'd already driven away, so we left a message for her. Oh, wait, there she is. Hello? What's up? What happened? Tell me what is so important. I swear, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how to start. Did something bad happen? I guess you have to decide if it's bad or not, Zainab. It's about Kotai. Oh, come on now. Please, let's not talk about him, can we? I'd be more than happy to. We hate him as much as you do. In fact, maybe even more so, but... But you have to listen to this. I'm sorry. Really, you will be shocked. You're saying that Katai didn't cheat on me. Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you what I know. That's what happened. But you know what this means, right? Well, I know this is very confusing, but I just had to tell you. I wouldn't be the friend I am to you if I didn't. Talk like I do. She must have already told Zainab, and the plan is now in motion. You think Zainab will really believe the story? Zainab won't like to believe it, at least not in the beginning. But then she won't stop. Thinking of the possibility, she'll start doubting everything that she saw that day. Everything. And that is what I want. Let me take a guess. Ruzgar and Zainab will get into a big fight, and that's when you swoop in to console her. That is it exactly. Well done. That fight isn't far away. doesn't 
help you other than reminding you of the moment of Meltem's accident. Bad memories and bad feelings. Do you think Meltem would want to be remembered like this? Kamel's right. From here on out, I should honor Meltem's memory in good ways. It's time to let the past live in the past. dreaming about as a plate. I needed to give you an explanation, but... I never gave you a chance to. That's right. What about now? Zhang spoke to me. He said if we had met that night, you were going to tell me everything. And I was going to hear it all from you. That's right. going to tell you everything. I really struggled because I was, well, I was scared of losing you. Because of that, I kept postponing, putting it off until I just had to, to tell you everything about myself. Okay. We can talk about that later. But first, I want you to promise me one thing. A promise? What promise? No more secrets. We don't keep anything from each other. Not one thing. You promise? I do. Zainab. What a coincidence. You think it's a coincidence? Trying to say I'm following you, Zainab. You think I deserve that? I do. Yeah, maybe you do. Why not? 
You really don't know me, Zayna. I wish you did. I hope it won't be too late if you'd want to. Anyway, I should go now. Have a good night. Could I? <laughs> Sock told me something about you today. What would that be? She never said anything good about me. She said that you didn't cheat on me. How does she know? listening to what I had to say. Did you ever give me a chance to? You could have told me afterwards. I tried to, Zayn. I called you, but you didn't answer. I came to Fosha just to tell you the truth. But then... But then what? You still could have. You were already with a man named Ruzgar by then, weren't you? I came and I lost you, Zayn. And I went crazy. Why were you staying in a hotel, Katai? Instead of, I don't know, instead of staying at home? Because there was a meeting at the hotel and it went late. I got really drunk, so I stayed at the hotel that night. Since I was already there, Zainab, okay? That's all. There are some missing pieces in the story, Katai. There are. Why'd you say, Zainab, I made a big mistake. Will you please forgive me? A little strange to say if you didn't actually cheat on me. Because I made a mistake, Zayna. Because I left you on the eve of our wedding, Zayna. I was busy with the work. I didn't pay attention to the wedding. And then you saw me in the hotel room like that. You had every right to feel that way. You're right. It was all my fault. And I'll always regret it. Like you'd break up with Ruzgar for me. As long as you just don't remember me as the jerk who cheated on you. telling me, then I would have never believed it. But Basak heard it from someone else. I don't know. Is this going to affect your relationship with Ruzgar because of everything you know now? God, no, never. Also, I didn't know something. I didn't know the real face of Katai until all of this happened. I'm so grateful I didn't get married to him. It would have been the biggest mistake of my entire life. Good morning. Hi. It's a little early coming over here, yeah? I wanted to stop by before going to work. Make sure my demand is met. Your demand? That's right, my demand. I hope you didn't forget the demand to have dinner with me. Ah. 
Totally. As we made peace, I thought you may, you know, honor this kind of a demand tonight. You thought right. But I can't promise you because it could be a little bit busy here tonight. Okay, but if not, then you come with me. If it's not too busy, I'll come with you. But don't get your hopes up. It could get busier than it's ever been. Okay, see you. <sighs> see you too there, Kamal. Uh, okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Later. Honey, don't think about it so much. Just listen to your heart. I know I'm happy you left Katai, okay? There's Takin now. What's up, Zaina? Just awesome. And you? As awesome as ever. I get to hang around with my wife. You two have fun. What fun are you talking about? I won't see him all day, so he comes around for just an hour to arouse my appetite. Then he'll be off again while I'm left to start. Good luck. <laughs> see you later, sweetheart. So what's up? Zainab, she doing okay? She was surprised about what she heard, but didn't really care either way. Ruzgar, he's one, right? Absolutely. She really is in love with Ruzgar. More importantly, I'm actually glad that she thought Katai cheated on her. And why is that? So she could get rid of Katai. <laughs> I guess everything happens the way it should. So tell me, what do you want to do then? Hmm. You will pay me by putting me in the sales department. Oh, no, don't tell me. <laughs> Did you just see a new pair of shoes or something? That's right. They are fuchsia, suede leather, very beautiful. What can we do then? <laughs> we'll buy them all willy-nilly like. <laughs> After that, what do you want to do? You know I'll meet with the girls. Come on, you know we're always together. I know that. <laughs> How's it going, Sadiq? Oh, there you are. Take over for a minute. I gotta go feed the chickens over there in the field. Come on, and go gentle on them. Sure, no problem. Why Sadiq in such a hurry? Where'd he run off to? Ruzgar? Ruzgar? Did you even hear me? Sorry, I was reading a newspaper item. What item? Him. He might be the man who broke the brakes on your Jeep. And? The photograph of this man right here. We're on to something. We could find the owner. But he doesn't look, I mean, because he never turned around. This angle, yes. But if we could see it from the front, we could see his face. We have to find another photograph. If this shop here has a security camera there, we can see his face for sure. That's right. So what do you do next? Take care of this barbecue. I'm gonna go talk to the shop owner. Oh, give me the newspaper back, too. I need it to find the shop now, don't I? You can wave your hand or something. Go on. What? Wait! Hey, I'm coming with you! I know the area. Better than you. I can help you find the place faster if I came with you. Zainab. Wait, just let me get my purse. Wait up! Well done, bravo. 
Executing a delicate trick is the sign of a masterful job handled right. And Zaynep believed you. Not right away, you know. But that's all part of the plan. When the time comes, so does the ending. I'll finish my trick, bang, it'll be over. And by bang, you mean Ruzgar will finally step aside and you'll step in? I don't understand. Understand this. I will destroy him. I will beat him to death. What are you talking about out here, huh? You hear that, Muella, dear? Here you were thinking your son cheated on Zainab like everyone else, but it was some woman who set up our boy and destroyed his wedding. You were set up? What? Why didn't you tell me? You tell Zainab she needs to know about this? I handled that woman, made her tell everything to Zainab. I hope she'll believe you and Zainab reconsider some things. And perhaps you guys get back together too, huh? Uh, let me make some coffee for you. I'm off, but make some for Kataya. Okay. That's it. What is it? Uh, they're calling me from the police station in Izmir about Sally's murder. Why you, though? Don't know. Learn when I get there. Let's go together, then. No, you shouldn't have come. We don't know how long the interrogation's going to take. I'll tell you everything after. Tell your lawyer friend to go along, too. I mean, E.G. She's an old friend. She should be with you during this time. You come over. Don't worry, man. Nobody saw anything. I'm heading back to Istanbul. Okay, then let's get this over with. There's more than we talked about. You were beyond convincing. Thank you so much. If you come to Istanbul, you should visit me. for anything. Be cool. We'll learn what's happening rather shortly, okay? I didn't do anything, so I can only wonder what it's about. I understand. But when all's said and done, I'm with you. And you know, I'd never let anything happen to you. What's up, babe? You're thinking of Ruzgar, aren't you? I was, yeah. Why didn't you go with him to Izmir, huh? Didn't need me. Uh, uh, why is that? I wouldn't be able to be with him during the interrogation, so he didn't want me to wait in front of the building is all. Ah. Aww. He cares about you so much. He so does. E.G. is with him as well. Who's E.G.? His attorney friend. Huh. Hey, all What are you guys doing? Hey there, girl. What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. 
laugh. How can't we laugh? Stop. Okay. Look, I'm going to Izmir. My mom gave me some stuff to take to some relatives, and I don't want to go alone. Well, one of you come with me? Come on. I'd go with you, because I'm already worried about Ruzgar being there. But wait, let's not go in your car. We'd freeze to death. We should go in mine. That's fine, but why is Ruzgar in Izmir? We'll tell you about that later. Let's all go together, because we're, we're together. Out. Come on. <laughs> Be careful don't with that chair. <laughs> there are the stairs. <laughs> Our thinking is that there's a connection between Hollis, who was stabbed in prison, and Mutlu, who was executed all of a sudden. Okay, but what is the connection with me? You're the only common element between them. You had some form of relationship with them. Okay, but I didn't follow these guys. They started following me. I didn't engage them willingly. Do you know anything else about these two murders that you may have simply forgotten to tell us? going. See you. Hey there. We're going to Milky's birthday party. Want to come with us? I can't go. Thanks, though. Uh, what? I've got an exam tomorrow. I'm tired. Don't play hard to get. I'm not, I'm really tired. See ya. Just like I told you before, I didn't know either of them. What? What's going on? What's wrong? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What? Uh -oh.
We may have to call you back in depending on the investigation. Whenever you need me. Count on it. Ruzgar, wait for me outside, would you? I need to talk to the inspector here about a couple of things. Have a nice day, officer. You too. Next time, could you let me know when you send a notification to see my client again? Sure, no problem. But it wasn't so important you needed to come. That's why we didn't call you. Calling him in was standard protocol. I see. Still inform me next time, please. I think this is a lot more personal than professional. It is. I must admit that. I understand completely. Take care now. Have a nice day. What did you talk to him about? I scolded him to not call my client in without informing me first. Don't worry, I said I'd handle this. Thanks so much. Come on, let's grab a drink. Uh, I don't have time for that. Is that so? You look to escape as soon as you're done with me? Yes. <laughs> I won't let you go before grabbing a drink. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, get in. Hey guys, Ruzgar's over there, huh? Uh-oh. The interrogation must be over. I wonder how he did. Wait, who's that girl riding along with him? That's E.G., his lawyer. And they're leaving together. Let's go after them. Okay, we'll follow behind them. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, it turned red. We're gonna lose them. You know what? If we were in my car, we would catch them. I know we would. Your car is too old. Forget it. Lay off. I know. We should turn left here, because I think they turned left right around that corner. Are you sure? No, that's where they no, they turned right. I saw they them turn right. left. Can you both stop it, please? Dude, I saw it. They turned right, okay? They turned stop left. it. All right, come on. Yes. Zainab, just drive, please. I'm so confused. We don't know where they went. We lost them. We haven't spent time together. It's been a while. So long, I can't remember when the last time was. But I remember. I remember because it was the last time we went out to buy a gift for Meltem's birthday. I didn't mean to hurt you by then. So, what will we eat then? They have very good cakes here. You think you'd be into them? Sure thing. I trust you. Okay. Incredible. How did we lose them like that? And he doesn't have a cell phone on him either. Isn't that the lawyer's car right over there, or no? E.G. Oh. Yes, it Pull is. Pull over. Let's get yes. out of here. Okay. Come on. They're sitting over there. Hold on a sec. Are you sure that she's really just his friend slash lawyer and that's all? That's right. Just a friend? A uh, little too intimate for just a friend, don't you think, or am I wrong? What kind of friendship is that? No, you're right. Don't be silly, this is totally innocent. Are you so sure? Look at them for yourself. For real. I agree with you too, Of yeah. course, honey. I'm a person who has a master degree in body language. Touching while talking illustrates that you have feelings about the person. 
Look at him, look at him. Rusgar's keeping total eye contact. That reveals interest. I think you guys are ridiculous. You're making all of this up right now. Are you trying to provoke some kind of drama out of us? Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh. Well, that girl's shown several of the sure signs that she's interested in, okay? She's definitely hitting on her. You know, I'm still thinking optimistically, though. Girl, if Rusgar gets caught in the crosshairs of Edgy, I'd be surprised. Then again, nothing should surprise me. Zainab, all right. I know what you may be feeling right now, but now is the time for action. Get in I there. agree. We'll steam ahead. Look, we'll be waiting for you here. We're right behind you. Go on. Okay, watch me. Yeah. Why are you around here? Uh, the girls were going to Izmir anyway, and I was wondering about you, so that's why I came. Mm. How are you, E.G.? Fine. You? I'm good. So, what happened? Why did they call you? Well, standard procedure. New information they wanted me to corroborate. It really was nothing to worry about. So it wasn't something important? It wasn't anything important. Also, I was with him. No need to worry. I wouldn't let anything happen to him. Oh, I don't worry about him whatsoever. I would never let anything happen to him either. You know that. You may Zayna forgive you. Will she return? Not after just one move, but she'll be mine sooner or later. Believe me, I've got this on lock. We've been making some moves ourselves. You're not the only one. We put our men in Blommer's factory to provoke his workers. Forget this place. The men in Mr. Ramsey's factory do our job. The same job, but earn a lot more. I had no idea about that. Big time, they receive bonuses three times a year. Oh, come on. And we work so hard, but for peanuts. Oh, oh, oh. In other words, my boy, we'll disrupt Warmer's operations. Sounds good. Hello, gents. What's up, Tukem? Come. I'm good. Down. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You can take my place here. Sound good? What is it? You're getting up to leave because I'm here? That's total nonsense. <laughs> You'll pay the bill. Put it on your tab. Canair, bring a plate for my friend here. How are you? What are you up to this time? That woman slandered me. Who are you trying to kid, man? You were hitting on her right next to me. Was it all just a lie? Did you really not do anything with her? Come on, man. It was for the work, dude. You saw how that girl was. Then she started after me when I rejected her. Zainab, any change in her? No, dude, Zainab's feelings haven't changed. She has Ruzgar in her life now. Speak of the devil right there. Okay. Of course, sir. I made the reservation as requested. What's up, Jank? Uh, we've received a reservation for tonight, Miss Isla. That's good. For how many? I think it's a crowd of people. Hmm. All right, then. How many tables? A lot. Apparently, it's some kind of an occasion. Oh. They booked the whole place for the night. Oh. Hmm. Is there something wrong, Miss Isla? You seem upset about something. 
No, not me. It won't be me upset. But Kamal will be very upset. Actually, mm. I warned him about this, but I should call him before it gets too late. Okay. Did you see the news about the man who got killed the other day? I happened to, yes, but it's nothing special. It was his last photo before his death, you know. Nothing special, exactly, but the photo's important. What about the photograph? I don't see anything. Turns out this guy's a hitman. The person in front of me might be the one who planned all this. Hmm. Good evening, guys. I got curious. Show me the photo, Ruskar. I might know who you guys are talking about. angle, yes. But it'll be pretty obvious from the security camera of the shop across the street. Focus right on. So you think you may have a shot at this? I spoke with the shop owner. He won't show me the videotapes. Tomorrow I'll go over there with the police. Then we'll see exactly who that is. I hope that bastard gets what's coming to him a hundredfold. Right on. You, son. Uh, just fine. <clears throat> What's this? What are you up to this time? There's something I have to handle. What is it that you need to handle? For God's sake, tell me already. I'm no mind reader. Remember Salif, father? Yeah. We'd been talking with him and got caught by a security camera from across the street. What are you saying to me? What are you saying to me? Even if you're just in the same frame with this guy, the police will directly turn towards us, which is not good for business. I'll handle it. I'll go and erase the tapes. We brought over so many guys from Izmir. Why don't you use them? Why do you have to do this by yourself? Tell me that. If they get their hands on it, they'll blackmail us. There are important records. What are you doing here? I was bringing you a little message, but since you're here, I can give it to you. What's this? Shall we walk over to the mill and talk some more about things? Huh. Zainab, uh... I'm kind of busy right now. You're kind of busy? Seems like you're up to no good. Sorry, but if you don't tell me, I'll get upset. I'm going to that shop. We've already been there. They didn't have a camera. There's no footage. What's the point? But my suspect doesn't know that. He thinks there's still a camera. He's going there tonight to try to erase the images. Who do you suspect, though? I spoke with the shop owner. He won't show me the videotapes. Tomorrow I'll go over there with the police. Then we'll see exactly who that is. Katai? Ruzgar, it makes no sense. Why would he try to kill my grandpa? He wasn't actually the target. Whatever. 
Everything will be clear after tonight. Okay, fine. I'm coming with you. Hold up, Zena. It's too dangerous. Then I'm definitely coming. I'm not going to leave you alone. And since Katai won't be going there, there really is no danger. Come on. I already said no, Zena. Ruzgar, when I was looking for the original owner of my heart, didn't everyone, including you, object? And what I do? Did I listen? No, I didn't. So don't bother talking me out of it. Let's go. Your stubbornness, they come, Zena. That's right, the stubbornness. Okay, but you will do exactly what I say. Sure thing. Done with the preparations? Uh, that's right. Uh, yes, almost. What are you doing here? I thought I told you we'd be busy. I came to eat. Mm, Kamal, maybe you should eat somewhere else, since we'll be busy tonight. Why is that? I'm sorry, but all the tables have been booked. You're out of luck. Well, you'll have to excuse me, because I insist on being alone with you here tonight. I demanded it. What's that? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, we're having dinner together. Uh, uh, Sheikh, what's up with you? Mr. Kamal made the reservation for tonight, Miss Isla. He booked all the tables for himself. You didn't leave me another option. The possibility of us dining was pretty low if I didn't do this. I think you know that. And you? You knew about all of this and you didn't tell me anything? You'll pay for no, this. No, no, Shank is quite innocent. I was afraid you would spoil the plans I had for us because you would have found some other reason not to do this. Would you like to dance with me before we sit down for our dinner, Miss Isla? I would. Look how fast my heart's beating for you. We've broken into a place at this time of the night. And are waiting for a criminal. It's normal that you'd be afraid. I'm really not afraid. And I'm sure that nobody's gonna come. So what then? My heart beats like this every single time you're around me. I can't control how fast it goes. when you're around me too? Does your heart beat like this as well? It doesn't. Mine's 
stop speeding. Every time you're around, my dear. I lose all sense of time and space. The ground slips away below my feet. I feel like I'm hanging in the air. I can't think about or see anything else but you. And I know everything will be okay. If I have to explain to you, if I have to explain to you how much I love you one day, maybe I won't be able to explain it to you and convince you like I want to. Keep looking at me like this. You'll convince me. Zainab. You know I don't. I think everything that we experience has a reason. Remember? You told me there were two souls inside of me. Now there's one. But there are two ages in my life. The one before you. And the one after you. Escaped until now, Zena. I always have. From my memories, from the people I love, I didn't know where I was going. But I can't. 
escape anymore. You rescued me. You caught me. I live life as it comes now. Because of you. I'm sorry for not saying it until now. <laughs>